Hello everybody and welcome to this Train Sim TV video. This is Mark. Today we're going to take another look at the Railway to Devon and Cornwall version 8. Um, we're going to look at the brand new section now from Mooreswater up to Plymouth. Um, the new section is from St Germans I believe down to Liscard and Mooreswater. Uh, and the branch itself which is what we're going to look at here. We are down at Mooreswater Cement Terminal. It's if this is a fictional free room. I'm just saying that there's a 37 on a, a, a train of cement empties. And we're going to take it up to Liscard, we're going to run around the train, and we're going to take it up to Plymouth so we can show the bits off that are pretty new to this room. So, first of all, I wanted to set the 37 up. Just wait for it. To, uh, I haven't done anything with the cab, so I've got the wrong bits of equipment in here. So, first of all, I wanted to put the uh, master key in. Following that, it's a case of reverse to forward. Anyway, let's change the end switch on. Cancel the NWS. We need to put the NRN in, and I believe we're in zone 098. Again, ignore all the other stuff that's in it, it shouldn't be near necessarily. So 098 zone. And there we are. We're in. Next up, we need to set the lights up. So put the view indicator on, tail lights off, put the instrument lights on for the tunnel and stuff like on. And then all we have to do now is the headlight, which is there. So we are now ready. Again we're down at Mars Water. In the cement terminal. Break of empty cement wagons. Interesting location, the Great Western Main Line to Penzance is up there on the uh, the Cornish Main Line's up there on the on the viaduct, Mooreswater Viaduct. Now the scenery isn't complete on this side yet; it's just down here by the uh, cement terminal at the moment. So what we're going to do first is going to set forward to the crossing and then clear of the uh, junction. So we'll watch this from this crossing. First job, release the brakes obviously, holding it R and uh, colon. And you can hear the brakes coming off there. So now it's a case of just getting the train up to this crossing, then we'll have to stop for the crossing, and then we'll take it into the loop, then we'll reverse back onto the rig. Mm. Right, for the uh, crossing. Lovely detail down here. I love, I love the detail that Simon's put into this in the team. Uh, it was a Devon and Cornwall high speed trucks. So this branch down to Moore's Water, these days, service operated by Colas, using Class 70 locomotives. Years gone by, it used to be a China Clay terminal, 37 from St Blaise used to operate China Clay trains down here. I think it was around 2002, Freight Line got the contract for a cement train from here. Previous to that, the EWS had been operating some cement trains here as well. But in 2019 it is um, Colos that operate the service with Class 70s. Operates quite regularly, it did stop for about 5 years. Uh, 2013 they actually stopped the service, Freightliner lost the contract. Um, but it, once again it does run now with Colos. When Freightliner first ran it in the early 2000s it used to run from Earl Sidings. Most of the time otherwise it has run from um, Um, Westbury cement terminal. So first thing first, we need to change the points, obviously.
Slow the train down. This wagon sounds are from the AP four wagon, four wheel wagon pack. Four wheel wagon sound pack that he has on his site. Get that from AmstrongPowerHouse.com. and head with the full vague through to Coombe Junction which is just over here Britain's I think it's the second least used station in Britain and then when we get to Liscard we'll head around the curve into the station well we'll need to run around the train so rather than view the train from there we'll view it as it comes into the loop here I think on this occasion mm. now it is quite a steep downhill so we're not going to give it any power mm. And then just get it on the move. We go through the loop here. There's a, a little run around loop in these sidings that we're going to go through. We are, of course, in a form of assembly class 37, 37671. Carries the West uh, Cornish main line overhead. the end of here it becomes uh, the loop branch which we join This is Coombe Junction Halt. Custom asset there as well. And this, uh, I believe it is Britain's second least used station. Really has no purpose. It's completely in the middle of nowhere. Town of, Lew Town of Liscard is just up on the hill. It's pretty much just because the units reverse at the junction. They don't actually go into the halt, I don't think, unless they have to. I 
and it's at this point where we actually change lines and we head up the curve, up the gradient. You can see the, the sheer gradient. There's one in forty up to Liscard. The line that goes straight ahead is the line to Lou. So I'm not going to talk as we climb up the valley. As we get further up the valley, we'll go under the uh, Cornish main line again as we get to the top. But I'm just going to sit back and listen to the noise of the loco as it climbs up the uh, uh, valley in a second. We're just going to make a quick stop at this hut here.
That was an impressive uh, climb. It's so, it's so much fun driving that 37 up there. It really is a fun line to drive it on. So we've arrived at Liscard now at the stop board. We wait here for instructions in real life. You've got the platform there on the loo branch. There's a unit actually in there. Um, and that's where the loo services finish at a right angle to the main line. Freight goes down this curve into Liscard station, which is where we're going to be doing a run round in the moment. Uh, and then we'll head back up towards Plymouth in this direction. We've just come round from down there, and we're now right up the valley, having gone all the way around there, and we're now up here. So, next job, move into the station, which we'll do now. We're right at the summit of the climb here, which require a bit of power to go over the top. See how steep the climb is there, just coming into there, we struggled to get uh, back on the move again. When they used to do the China clay, because that would be loaded from the terminal down there, it used to actually come up in two sections because it was too heavy in one I believe. It used to leave one section here then go back down and get the other one. So we're now heading around the curve into the station. I think this is the weak point of this route. Not a weak point, but an, an inconvenience is that the signal box here is obviously it's a Kuju and something else mashed together. A bit of a shame because there is, there is the fully finished one and they're just trains it, but obviously because it's not a requirement, it can't actually be used, which is a shame. I mean, otherwise, that this looks stunning. It's, I mean, I, I personally feel it's just as good as the just trains Liscard station, if not a, a little bit better, I don't know, it's hard to say. Some of the shelters aren't correct and the bit up there is obviously not authentic, but 
the overall look of it, it looks great. So we're just coming into the platforms now. And we'll need to run the loco around here. First need to get the train into the platform. We need to get the rear of the train inside the signal as well. So we'll go up to Loco, we'll run round. So as we stop there, might as well set the uh, local for the changing of ends now. The first thing we need to do, move the reverse to the off position. Turn the brake right around. Hold R and then put it into shutdown. Tail lights on, view indicator off, headlight off. Um, ADS change end switch off. Change ends. Oh, well on. Master key out. Master key in. Forward gear. Change end switch on. Onto that. Tail lights. I don't know if I'll just turn them on actually. Yeah, I have. Tail lights off. Boot indicator on. Headlight on. Instrument and lights on. There we are now set up to head back in the other direction. So first things first, take the brake out or shut down. So we've got to head through the station, cross the crossover onto the viaduct, or we change ends. Or we'll be coupling back on, I mean. Stop on the viaduct and we'll reverse back onto the train. Again, we'll have to change ends here, obviously, because we've got to back onto the train. Reverses are off.
No, just need to couple back onto the train. Signal in front of the danger, obviously, because we're going straight back onto the train. No change because I've requested permission. So again, now whether I need to go back, we can change ends again, so we turn the route indicator off. Tail lights, um, they need to be off. Reversers are off, master key out. Brakes into shutdown. Change end switch off. And then on the back wall here again, change end switch on. Stick it in, reverse to forward. Tail lights off, route indicator on, headlight on, and then we need to change the brake settings. I forgot to do this to change them to air goods. Done that now. Need to set the NRN up in this cab. The NRN is now set up. What we'll do first is we'll set back so we're inside the signal. First of all, we're going to get this ready for maximum fresh. First things first, we need to get back inside the signal, so let's do that first. Inside the signal, way off the road. Reverse to forward, and we'll take this up to Plymouth. That's where we're going to take it to. We then head across the loop uh, branch again. Might as well turn the loop branch. We're now heading out north towards uh, St. Germans. Shortly be crossing Balithio Viaduct. Balitho. One of those two. So we head around this lovely looking super elevated curve.
So we're currently uh, climbing up to the summit. Between here and um, Menoni, and then we'll drop down. Pretty much all the way to St. Germans, and then again all the way to uh, Saltash, more or less. There's a little bit of a climb into Saltash. Just see the summit there as we're going over it. Stunning detail as we head across the uh, mall tops over here. Looking very nice. So in a moment we're going through Manhattan Station, which is this one here. At the foot of the hill. Uh, nice little detail station area here. Done a really good job of that. Some of the new uh, VMS signals here. These models, I believe, are by Jake Fuller. Uh, nicely detailed for a free asset. That's a very nice signal. Done a great job with those. I like that little indicator on the side as well. That's a repeater signal, obviously. We're going to pass the main signal in about half a mile. So we're going up to the main signal now. I believe these are available on Jake Fuller's website. Follow simulations. Very nice.
this is the, the drop down now towards um, St. Germans. So now adding down the bank, this is uh, the final approach into St. German Station, which we'll be going through in a moment. I believe this is a custom asset here, actually, which is quite nice. Something nice little detailed. I mean, to get so much detail on a freeway route is. Uh, it's uh, unheard of, really. I mean, you just look at the detail of the gardens and everything around as well. Because it's not just the stations and stuff, it's the whole area that gets the full detail. So this section was in Railways of Devon and Cornwall version 7. We're now about to head up the climb to Salt, uh, Salt Ashton and Cornet. So it is now just uh, around about two and a bit miles to uh, 
Saltosh. I'm going to make a stop on the platform there because I've got something wrong with the brakes that I want to check. Now, I've obviously, when I've changed ends, I've done something wrong with the brakes that I need to check. I think the end of version 7, as it says there, end of the line, I'm guessing version 7 used to end just around here. On the uh, bit around to Saltosh. I love the view of that. I mean, I'm not so sure about the wall on top of the viaduct. Uh, in all honesty, I think that does look a little bit odd. I know it's, I know the viaducts down there do have weird little walls on top, but uh, it looks a little bit strange. With the different colours. We're now approaching uh, Saltash. Eased off for the uh, signal stop in a moment. Well, I'm going to try and see what's wrong with our braking. Looks fantastic. ready to bring the train to a stand at the signal. Let's just have a look in the other cab and see what's going on here. Everything does seem to be released in here. Not entirely sure why the brakes are leaking back on. Anyway. Got the road now. We'll head straight up into Plymouth from here. So this is Saltosh, we've got the bridge just here, which we'll have a look at in a minute when we get out of the platform.
love the uh, custom signage and the station building as well. Not sure if that is a custom or not. I'm, I'm honestly not sure. Overall, it's certainly a great model. Looks good. And again, here's the bridge. As I said in my other video, going to gun is like this uh, asset for a custom asset on a freeware route. It is just stunning, really. It's very well made. And the uh, village of Saltash as well. It's looking really good down there. So they can't knock it. Looks brilliant. What's happened here? It looks like there's a bit of an LOD issue, level of detail issue on the bridge there. Look, you turn the camera, it disappears. I, I will tell Simon about that and take a screenshot of it. I mean, the biggest issue really with any of these assets is the AP track announcement pack which goes through the sides of the bridge, but that's not the route developer's fault. It's not really anybody's fault, it's just the way it is. The route's been designed not to use the enhancement pack, which is, you know, it's fair, it's fair enough. In fact, when the route was already out before the enhancement packing came out, so... It's one of those things, really. There's the southern line from Gunners Lake going underneath. Former southern main line. And we're about to go through St. Buddha, Victoria, uh, Ferry Road. So on the final climb now between Dockyard and uh, Kiam, uh, Kiam and Dockyard, sorry. I love the housing detail there. Each one correctly placed on the hillside.
Devonport Station, last one as we're heading to Plymouth. Again, look at the detail there on the left, we've got the bins placed and everything in the street. Really impressive. There we go, we've arrived at Plymouth. Brings this video to an end. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to check out the Railways of Devon and Cornwall version 8. It is available on the Vulcan Productions website at www.vulcanproductions.co.uk forward slash railways of Devon and Cornwall. It's also available at Alan Thompson Sim um, in their route section, page 2 or 3 or something like that, I think. It's on the route section anyway on that website, just click the route to the top. And don't forget to check us out on Twitch, www.twitch.tv forward slash TV underscore Tom. Tom usually streams Wednesdays 7.30, Friday 7pm. And please do give us a like or subscribe, it really helps us get our videos out there and improve our channel. And don't forget to leave any comments. And I hope you've enjoyed the video guys, goodbye.